Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Aries for the second week of Ju July 2020 for love and relationship. Did I say for love and relationship? Dear Aries, it seems to be that you and your person are hurt by each other and you are not really progressing anything. From your side, you don't want to progress anything with your person and your person doesn't want to progress anything. <coughs> you decline each other. You still love each other. You are in love with each other, but you are kind of like, you know, upset. You are upset also with your person because there was no change like, you know, at this time, like, you know, for... For a long time and you want like you no know, really a renewal for that relationship so you feel like you know that if this is really not progressing you are approaching someone else and i see a new love for you at least like you know that you are looking at that person as a sexual partner for some of you but for some of you i get here there is a very nice person he or she willing to help you and really lay like, you know, give you the helping hand. And this person is really someone on your side. Like, you know, they have the hearts for you at least. Which is, I get here that the person that you are dealing with in a commitment, that's another one, that's the, the one you are hurt with. They pushed you away and you are pushing this person away and you tell them, that's it, I'm done with you. Your person, like, you know, he's still, like, you know, really being negative at this time. They accuse you of all kind of things that, you know, you could be really, like, you know, someone who is evil. Or you have bad habits. Or you could be, like, you know, really on addiction of something. And they don't want to deal with it at this time. That's why, like, you know, they don't want to deal with you. And I get here they are really surprised about how things are not really getting corrected between you two. They separate from the current relationship. I still see that this person is holding on you, like, you know, for a limited time, like, you know, they are separated right now. You are shocked and surprised that they keep really being separating and they don't want to see you or talk to you. This person is still coming. And I get here, but you need to work on what hurts you, both of them, actually. Your person is really the most negative. And I get here that they know, are you like, you no, know, not feeling really very well lately? Also, dear Aries, like, you are complaining about something here. Take care of yourself, like, you know, physically at this time. Like, you know, do not, like, you know, if you are jumping the rope or something, don't really, like, you know, overdo, like, you know, these exercises because you could be twisting a leg or something. Or an... Or you could be, like, you know, just twist your ankle or something like that your legs some of you have a back pain also your person wants to see you and they are trying to tell you exactly why they are not really connecting with you but you keep really reading between the lines here and you feel like, no, no, there is another problem. You become like, so angry and negative with your person also. You don't want to connect with them at this time. You don't know what to do. You are confused. <clears throat> totally confused right now. You want, like, no, a change of direction. But I don't see you changing your direction at all. It seems to be that, you know, you are afraid. When I see the... Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords that you say something you want to do, but you are not really doing it. Out of fear. 
you and your person are family. You love each other very much. He or she can be really mad at you at this time because I get here you are so confident here. It looks to me that, you know, they don't really like your confidence. Something about it here. They believe that you are lucky. They love you so much also. You know, no matter what happened between you two, this person is going to keep being around. This person is staying with you forever. But it looks to me that, you know, that they want you to let go really a lot here. They will return to you, but in the same time I get here, they want you to cut old habits. Bad habits. But you prefer to go to another person because you want your freedom at this time. See, this is another person that another person like no keep really giving you attention, being so sweet to you and nice to you and they help you, they give you a helping hand with something, possibly like you no know, taking your grocery to your home and this person is aiming on you and lusting for you so much. That person wants you and eyeing on you really a lot. And you are thinking about that person really very much, but you are in L like you know, for the one you are in love with already and they broke up with you that way. I believe that, you know, this is really just a misunderstanding. It's not a misunderstanding. Your person is really being so negative. They're going to come and apologize to you. And I get here in a day or two, he's, he or she is going to have a fit again. So it's really best like you know, to look into yourself at this time because your person is not really like you know, committed or reliable like you know, to be really letting go all of this their negativity at once. Like you know, they need some time to let go of the negative. They are not really too reliable like you know, into like you know, just continue with the happy mood. I see a lot of negative on this person. They keep like you know, being hurting and they hurt your feelings too. And you are kind of like, I cannot take it anymore. But you're going to enjoy, like, you know, the new love. The new love is really, like, you know, nice here. It's going to be really, like, you know, making you distracted. You you are undecided back and forth, like, you know, to heal yourself. You become moody on your, uh, on your person. You block them also. You block, like, you know, the, the phone number. You unblock them and you block them again. It's not really progressing because both of you are holding on so much against each other. You have to let go a lot. Do your part, you know, and your person, like, you know, have to do the same thing. Maybe you should just, like, you know, write a note or say, if they speak to you and tell them they need to let go all of the drama, I don't need any drama. You want to be happy. Everybody wants to be happy. And you are trying to ignore your person. That's why you have the upper hand and the control to do anything you want. Because you cannot really like you know, just sit there like you know, for your person to do a little effort. Then they insult you or they are not really nice and sweet to you. Yes, they do miss you very much and they want really like you, know, you to be really very well. But you, they are getting to you emotionally really very much also. It says here that you let this person get to you. If you don't really let this person get to you, you will get away with a lot. You will be like, you know, much happier. You won't even let it. But and I tell you honestly that your person is really, really, really negative. Like, you know, just insult you really so much. And it's not really nice. Nobody can take this. So if this your person is coming and you need to tell them to work on their negative, let go of your their negativity. That's if you did not really do so, because I see that you already did. You have an ex of yours also. Like, you know, it seems to be that you have an ex around you. They don't want you to be really dealing with your ex. For some of you, like, you know, you could be in a relationship that hasn't uh, ended also in uh, divorce, and they want you to divorce that person. They can be extremely jealous from anybody or anything like no with you. They are pushing you away at this time because they want you to be really working on some papers or documents. 
Like for example, apply for the divorce. Show me the papers. Show me the tracking number, for example, or like you know, the case number. They want really that from you because they want to start or begin on their new relationship and you feel like, you know, I cannot do anything with all of this going on in the country about like, you know, the virus. You let know your person like, you know, exactly what's going on, but your person is not listening. I want to see like, no, but why all of this negative here? Why your person is really very negative like that? You work for hard, very hard for your relationship. Because they think like you know, the relationship is not gonna progress. It hasn't been progressing. They want to live with you. They want really to marry you. They want to be in one home with you because they don't trust you outside because you look good and you look like you know sexy and hot and they think you know another person is gonna get to you or your ex can be dealing with you from like you know from the past or can be real like you know being intimate with you. They don't really trust to leave you be or to leave you alone in another home. They want you to be in one home. Every person, right, I see that, you know, but they have an issue of trust that they have to get rid of. And you think that they push you away because they are the one who's cheating, but no. Your person work online, not really like, you know, to chit chat with other people online. I see work situation or Hmm. Yeah. Everything is going to be really fine, but I guess here you guys need time. You need time, but the relationship is going to be renewed again. Your person is coming anytime soon, just like right now. They're going to call you, maybe tonight, tomorrow. Yep. You keep being skeptic about accepting like you know, their offer. I see that, you know, you have responsibility for someone in the past. That's why, like, you know, they cannot really understand what you are doing and why you are doing that. They want you to be really helping them. Your person wants you to help him or her. And instead of helping the ex and they, why do you still like to feel sorry or sympathy for the ex? They cannot understand that coming from you. And they want you, they want family with you. They want to marry you anyway. Well, dear Aries, if I hope you enjoy the reading, and if you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com. The link for my website is below this video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.